things from the dollar store. These are called uh, the Rattan Balls. Um, and gone from the dollar store. Um, wooden beads. And these I've had a while, for a while. These little rings and stuff. I think I picked them up there as well. And some of this cord. And I picked that up at the dollar store too. And so what I've been doing is I grabbed two pieces of cord that are even. So far I'm starting up that. I think I'm going to do like a little wrap or a little weave with these, I think. So I'm going to start off with two. I'm just taking my third one here apart so then I could do a little weave on it. So I want to make a bird toy for one of my daughter's birds. And I thought that would be a fun little craft to do for today. You could do it for like wild birds, little outside kind of hanging thing or like I'm doing for um, my daughter's budgies. So I thought that would be a fun little DIY. And if anyone has a budgie that you know, you can make them a little cute little thing. So what I'm doing here is untwine, unraveling this three your three cords from here. So I'll continue doing that and I'll probably speed through this part. The three cords together and what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap around the two cords few times, I don't know, maybe four. Let's see how it looks. One, two, three. And then I'm gonna wrap around the one cord. Keep it as tight as I can, just for something, a little different look. Two, three, and four. Close my rope together. And if I could do as many as I want, I'm doing just a two weave because they're budgies and they've got little beaks. Two, three, and four. thought that'd be really fun. And then I'll open it up again. Wrap around. One, two, three, and four. So it's starting to get a pattern going. Close the rope. You can see my pattern going at the end here. It's not going to be that great, but I'm going to figure out how to tape that down or something. Let's see if I can find something to clip it with. At the end. And then I'll worry about keeping it from going apart later. Coming apart. There we go. So now I got one, two, three, and one more, four wraps. And you could do this with different things too, like wires and stuff, and it'll look cool. So if you're doing a wire wrap, same kind of deal. One, two, three, and four. It's a nice thing to practice. Cute. Starting to look cute. Now I'm going to probably speed through this. So I have my pattern going and I think I'm going to throw in one of these raffia balls. I can throw in a bead or something and I continue with my pattern. So next I would be opening up my strings and putting them through the bottom string, wrapping it around. So here I'm going to throw in one of my raffia balls. And it's not going to take much for the, this is going to be good for the beak of the bird, especially the little ones. That's why I got little one. If you're doing a parrot, you're going to do something really much bigger. It's going to make your pattern go a little bit different. But it's mostly worth it because it's for the bird. Okay, so now I'm going to go in and 
do four to the bottom. One, two, three, four. Close my guy up. Do another wrap. One, two, three, four. And that's how I'm wrapping it into the pattern. So that's part of his little toy. I'm going to continue. Open. Two. Two. Three. And then four. So this is kind of like recycled plastic y raffia type of stuff. Good for their beak to floss. <laughs> and we're going to go one. Two, three, four. Uh, just like that. It's starting to get tangled up at the end, so I'm just going to open it up. And again, with the four, two, three. You can do as many as you want. Just If you want the same pattern, just keep the same amounts of wraps. And then one, two, three, four again. And perhaps we'll stick a another raffia ball in there. Find a little space. Maybe I will do, I'll just do another wrap ball and then I'm going to do my wraps here again, underneath. Just something different. You could just string it through a regular. And then close up your string. And that's how it's starting to look. One, two, three, four. Now I can add anything else I want to it. So this is kind of how it's going to be a little ball. I'll maybe make it bigger. The birds can kind of jump on it. See, I got some wooden beads here, and maybe I'll add some of those. It can be like a pattern that you go or just whatever you feel like at the moment. This is not quite a pattern, except for the weaving that I've been doing. <laughs> Throwing on the beads and all that kind of stuff has not been, I've been just doing whatever for that. There's a bead. And I'm going to wrap it around. One, two, three, four. Close that up. And then keep wrapping. And that's how I'm making my bird toy. Cute.
if I want to have it which way I want it. So I'm going to tie this end off. Because there's different ways I could do this. I could keep it like a long piece. Um, I could make it into a ring. So I got to think about what I want for that. And I'm going to cut this ends off here because I want, don't want it that long. Save that for something else. And there is my piece. I could add these little rings to add little other things like um, bells and stuff like that. Let's retie this with the ring in there. And you could buy little birdie pieces, little hooks and bells and stuff and take them, put them on different parts. So Chloe, oops, I'll have to retie that. So Chloe will have that option for her little birds. Do we add a little bell to the bottom? Or even like a plastic ball. There's one ribbon that was loose. I can't find out which one that one. This guy's gotta get through. Missed one of my pieces to pull through. we go tie that up and we got a little piece to hang a little bell or whatever or we can just loop it up here hang it to the top with one of these you can get these at the dollar store too so there's different options on the ways you want to do it. But that is about it. That's my little birdie thing I'm making so far. You can add pieces of straw. I actually grabbed a straw. This one has paint on so I can't use that one. But paper straws they can chew on. Things are safe. A little attached little toys to them. I can just push this one through like this on this end if I decide to keep it long or clip it through however way. Hope you guys enjoyed this little DIY of making a bird toy. Thanks friends for watching. Talk to you later. Bye bye.